see how it goes. But on the other side too, he does go with Darkrai. On the other side too, uh, if Akano is able to get nar uh, Nightmare Mode up, there's very there's very little that uh, Chandelure can do. A laser, of course, going through a lot of projectiles, but uh, Darkrai not going super trap heavy in the Nightmare Mode. So we'll see how it goes. We're going into round number one here. Sorry, guys, Akano, Guard Break Five. A little bit of zone. Picano playing a little bit safer, kind of inching his way up there. I say he can't really go for a set play, uh, so just uh, opting for the shield break. And it's gonna uh, whoa, a lot happening. 8Y into the incinerate combo. Calls him out, not able to get into the nightmare mode. Tries to the, the setup there. If you do charge uh, the nightmare mode setup, it does count as a grab. So if they're sitting there, they will get caught by it. Throwing up the net, not working out for him. See, laser doing a ton of damage here, and then just laser there for the phase change. See, so yeah, the SSR, sorry, tag running right around there. See, so Kano able to get that 8Y confirmed, or that 5YY confirmed, but that was about it for the rest of the round. And so it'll be very interesting to see what Kano does there. Next round, if he's going to be able to uh, adjust, tries for the grab, and then sorry, tag going for the grab back. Charging up the minimize. Actually hits him out of the overheat. So he starts like, trying to bait out bait uh, a move with the overheat, but it actually gets knocked out of the startup of it with the C charge CA. Nice shift setup here coming from uh, Picano, and then he's able to hit with the trap and knocks the Shandy straight out of the air. This is looking a lot better for Picano, but he does get that wall combo into the overheat, ton of damage. So he's nice on sorry attack, hitting every single hit of that uh, of that overheat. If you hit him too high up on the wall, then they're not gonna get enough damage. The Vakano's sitting on almost burst, so he really needs to be careful here. And charges it, oh, but releases it just a little too early. He had the burst, so if he was able to get the full CA off uh, and hit Shandy away from him, he would have been able to pop the burst and maybe take him back in the round, and then who knows after that. But for right now, sorry, Tech taking game number one. Yeah, we'll see. It's going straight back to the character select screen. That's like I was saying before. Bacana going with the strategy of trying out Darkrai. If Darkrai's not really not working out for him, he'll go break into the more comfort pick. So we'll see how this goes. Shandy kind of hard matchup for Bacana because he really likes to go in uh, quite a bit. A lot of his play style really hinders on him being able to get in uh, and into your face, even though he plays a little bit zonier characters. But if he's not able to get in correctly, then you kind of shut the gameplay down. So we'll see. How, uh, see how he kind of shifts around a little bit, knowing sorry tags play style. Able to hit him out with the broom, the Nimbus 2000. Coming up the embers, and then Psybeam actually getting knocked out. That's it. Nice boomerang for Barcano, but then sorry tag answering back with the incinerate into the JX, and then tries the second incinerate, but Drake and able to air tech out of it. And that was actually really interesting because you you see you saw actually his burst armor get broken from the incinerate but the attack still came out it was very interesting i want to see somebody click that and i want to see that again because that was actually very interesting i need explanations exactly going for the emolga just to push him back a little bit it's a max range on that jay and once he hit the car sorry attack kind of running away at the time we'll see if the kind of opposite go for his first and he's not going to get a chance to because but sorry tag is sitting on match point here after that laser Alright, kind of needs, needs to make an adjustment here really quick. Calls out the Emolga, and actually the Emolga gets snuffed out by the charge of the Esther. Uh, not an not sure what the move actually is, forgive me. Most of 8, why confirm? Uh, uh, uh. I, li I like the, the thought process of not able to capitalize. Start that able to get a corner reversal into the incinerate. And then knowing that he had the insurance there, if uh, Picano was going to break that grab that had the overheat and actually opts to use it. So Sartek sitting on pretty much full resources here with uh, resources, has the DB set up. Oh, I say there's a wall confirmed, but Picano not able to capitalize. Pushes him up on the wall though. Shandy falling down a little easier, Picano trying for the grab. Sartek bursting out of it. He needs one more confirm and he's going to get it right here. That should be it. So he's sorry, Tech going over 2 0 over Picano. So he'll be advancing on the bracket. Picano will be going into the lower bracket. See how his Darkrai and his breaks in 
fair in the lower bracket.